Please be seated. The court is now in session. Veuillez vous asseoir. Reprise de l'audience. The chamber now gives the floor to the co-prosecutor to put a further question to donne la parole au co-procureur Mr. Witness. I again remind the co-prosecutor and civil party together they have time from now on until 11.30. Co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Monsieur le Président, merci. Madame Witness, I would like Madame to resume témoin, my questioning. Je voudrais reprendre mon interrogation. Before the break, you Avant la pause déjeuner, mentioned about those who presided over your ceremony. I had a document to present to you. Mr. President, I would like uh, to seek your permission to present uh, document D232-71. It is a written record of another witness, and I seek your leave to provide this document to Madame Witness. And I would like to remind uh, Madame Witness that uh, you are asked to read uh, the written record of interview without mentioning the names uh, of this person in the document. President, your request is granted. Court officer, you are instructed to uh, get uh, the document and give to Madame Witness. Veuillez vous saisir de ce document pour le donner, le présenter au témoin. Docum this document, page, uh, pages one and two, could you please uh, read the names? Could you please just uh, look at the names? Regardez les noms. And could you tell the court that the person which was interviewed and the name which was written down in uh, that document was the one who attended and presided over your wedding ceremony? Answer. Do you want me to read Réponse. all que je lise? the document? President? Tout le document, le président. No, you are not asked to read. Non, on ne vous demande pas Court officer, de you are instructed to assist the witness in answering to the question put by co-prosecutor. Co-prosecutor, co page one, the page last sentence. Uh, with a bold phrase. sentence, en gras. It, one name is uh, written there. Qui figure. Do you see uh, the name? Le voyez -vous. I would like to ask you to look at the names uh, on page one, the last sentence. Les noms qui figurent, page une, dernière phrase. Now, I put a question to you. The name you saw in the written record of the interview, I would like to know whether this person uh, attended and presided over your wedding ceremony during my rush time. Answer. Yes. This person attended uh, my wedding Cette ceremony at the time, and I did not know this person, co-prosecutor. Thank you. Co -procureur, je vous remercie. Now, I would like to know about 
the ceremonies of your wedding at that time. À présent, vous poser On the day you were asked to make a resolution, on vous a de vous there were people beside it over the ceremony, and after you made your resolution, so what happens uh, during the night after the marriage? Que passé la nuit après le mariage? Answer, after making Réponse. resolution, in fact, après avoir pris cet engagement, après avoir they, prononcé les vœux, they moved me out of uh, the units and I was asked to live in a house on m'a de vivre dans une maison After making resolutions uh, during the daytime, I uh, did not uh, go to stay in the house that was uh, arranged for us on that night. My husband went to that house and I went to my own unit. Unit chief was not aware of uh, this at the time, and I was thought that uh, I was uh, staying and living in that house. After Or three days, vivais, they realized that uh, jours, I did not go to live and stay in that house uh, during the night, and there was a letter saying that uh, they knew about uh, the fact that I did not stay and live with my husband in the house uh, arranged by Anka. Question. Three days later, later, you mentioned that three days later, there was one who called you to come back and live in that house arranged by Anka. Who was this person? Answer. Réponse. Bun, the commune chief, le chef de commune, went to call me. Elle m'a appelé. And he asked me to live in the house the assigned, arranged by Anka. On m'a demandé de d'aller vivre dans la maison qui Question. In the statement you provided to co-investigating judges, question, answer number eight, you stated that, quote, after three days, the commune chief told me to go and live with my husband, unquote. I would like to know who told you at that time. Alors, was it a Bun or was it a commune chief, uh, unit chief, rather? Answer, it was Bun who told me, Réponse, the Bun. commune chief. He Le supervised, he had su overall supervision in my place. Lui qui était chargé de la supervision. Question, did you remember Question. what Boone told you exactly at that time? Vous souvenez-vous de ce que Boone vous a dit exactement à ce moment-là? Answer at that time. Réponse. I actually do not recall the exact uh, words from the Boone's mouth, and there was no. F en fait, I was not forced at that time. Ce il to dit, il ne pas live in the house. I was just told that uh, please go and maison, live in the house arranged dit, by uh, husband and wife. Vous plaît, allez vivre dans la maison qui vous a été attribuée pour vivre avec votre mari en tant que mari et femme. So, question: What question. Uh, do you mean by saying uh, you had to go and live together with your uh, wife, uh, with your husband? Vous dites que vous avez que vous deviez aller vivre dans cette maison en tant que mari et femme Answer. avec votre mari. Réponse. They asked us to live uh, together Ils nous ont without having de any quarrel. And on that night, 
when I stayed with my husband, there nuit, was a militiaman eavesdropping uh, from below my house. Qui écoutait aux portes, During which I knew sous, that uh, there was someone, maison. there was militiaman eavesdropping uh, what uh, we was doing uh, pieds, at home. home. But actually, I didn't. We did not uh, do anything uh, during the nous night. Nous uh, we just nuit. slept, uh, you know, quietly nous because we understood dormi. that there was a militiaman down tranquillement parce que nous savions qu'il y avait house. Uh, Question, uh, you know that maison. there was militiamen uh, there vous savez y avait below your house and did you sous votre sleep with your husband on that night? Avez-vous dormi avec votre mari ce soir-là? Answer, yes, uh, I had. Réponse. Yes, I uh, slept with oui, my husband on that night. Question. Did you Question. sleep with your husband voluntarily or involuntarily? d'accord pour dormir avec votre mari ou pas? Answer. Réponse. I had to sleep with my husband Je le faire. because uh, I would be danger if I uh, did not. Car si je ne pas sleep fait, with my husband because there was a militiaman if dropping. Car comme je vous dit, il y avait I submitted myself to be wife. I could not avoid, so I tried to uh, take this je ne donc pas de question. question. Actually, uh, did you have choice to be made at that time, or you had to sleep, or did you have to sleep with him? Avez-vous eu le choix ou avez-vous dû dormir avec lui? Answer. I had no choice Réponse, je pas because eu le choix. we were husband and wife, Nous and if uh, et femme. we did not accept each other, and then. I uh, would be had difficult feeling, uh, so I could not change uh, the situation. So Je I would have to be ready for that. Je I kept prête. praying, actually, if uh, this man was my destined partner, and then I hope he would be good to me. I pray bon to God every day. Dieu and jour. Uh, if uh, this person uh, was my destiny partner, I pray that he Et would be good to me. And uh, from time to time, uh, moi, we could live along bon with each moi. other. And I started to love ensemble. him. Question. I uh, would like to know Question. about the night you were with your husband. You said that uh, you were afraid at that night. Vous avez dit que ce -là, vous étiez très if, uh, if you were afraid, why did not you refuse? Si vous aviez peur, pourquoi -vous pas refusé President, please hold on. You have to wait until the tip of microphone turns red. Il faut attendre que votre microphone soit allumé pour intervenir. Answer. Réponse. At first, I did not love my husband, Au but début, I was pas mon mari. afraid because there was a militia man Mais peur below my parce house. Que des se and uh, my husband tried to consoled to me and he said that uh, we were husband and wife so we had nothing to hide each other i listened to my husband and at the same time i was uh, afraid the militiaman uh, was listening in what we were doing, whether we live along with each other or we had si argument. In my village, uh, after nous marriage nous uh, was held, uh, the family did not live along with each other. And after that, the uh, couple were invited 
Lorsque to be uh, to get instruction to be advised. Il As I said, I par la suite was not satisfied with my husband. I did not orienté. love him. But uh, after a short while, uh, I Moi, adapted début, to the situation, and we lived as husband et and wife until now. Ensemble, et ce, Co prosecutor, thank you, Madame Witness. Uh, to clarify what you just said, I would like Question. to refer to the your answer eight in the written report of interview by co-investigating judges. You said, I did not want to make love with my husband, but I forced myself to do so. I knew my husband did not love me because he loved another woman. Could you clarify to the chamber why you said you were forced at the time? Préciser à la chambre pourquoi vous avez été contrainte à l'époque. Answer. Réponse. In my case, I understand his heart, his feeling. Je comprenais ses sentiments. Je... At that time, the, my husband had someone in mind. Je savais he loved a lady because of a different, because uh, they had different background. They could not get Married. Cette femme As I said, uh, my husband, lui, pas à la même classe que lui. Il ne pouvait donc pas se marier avec elle. Uh, he did not want to get married as well, and he was told that uh, he lui could not get married to another lady besides me. And as I said, uh, the lady moi. that my husband loved had different background la from his. I understand uh, that uh, my husband did not lui. love me. He, had, he did not have me in his heart, and je I did not have him, have him in my heart as well. And as I said, uh, since uh, we were husband and wife, dit, nous mari we femme, had to love each other. Nous, nous de I nous had the feeling that uh, my husband did not love me because uh, he had someone in mind je already. Looking pas, from his outside appearance, uh, he it does not it did not mean that uh, he did not love me, and he kept saying that uh, that lady was not his destined uh, partner. Il m'a dit que cette on autre femme that night, as I said, uh, there was a military man uh, eavesdropping uh, below my house, so I was maison, afraid. If peur. I uh, got married at the modern time, and if I uh, did not want to get married, I uh, would à refuse moderne, si je pas voulu me marier, the marriage. Pu de le faire. Although I uh, did not love my husband at that time, I had to accept the situation since I could see that uh, that is uh, in front of me. Question. Question. If you repute the marriage, what would happen? President, que -il passé si vous aviez witness, you are instructed not to answer to the question because this is a hypothetical vous question. question Co-prosecutor, thank you, Mr. President. I finished uh, my question, and I may ask your leave to give uh, the floor si to international co-prosecutor. Co President, president you may not proceed, uh, international co-prosecutor. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, good morning, Madam Witness. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Um, Bonjour, Madame la Témoin. Let me start by just following up on one uh, point from the subject you've been discussing. Um, J'aimerais revenir à ce dont nous avons déjà parlé. What I parlé. want to ask about is your state of mind at the time, the first night, when you were asked to stay and live with your husband. Stay and live with your husband. Vous a demandé did vivre you, avec votre mari. did your husband fear there would be consequences 
If you did not vous peur des conséquences, uh, vous et votre mari, si vous ne consommiez pas votre mariage? Answer. Réponse. President, Le uh, please hold on. Un Winness, instant, uh, témoin. Council, bring some on. You may not proceed. Council, thank you, Mr. President. The question Merci, put by the co international co-prosecutor, co I think le the question is similar to that of the national co-prosecutor. This is a hypothetical a question uh, for witness to make uh, assumptions, so I would like to object uh, to the question put by the national co-prosecutor. Il ne faut pas poser Mr. ce genre President, de questions. Le co-procureur international. Monsieur le Président, cela n'a rien d'hypothétique. J'aimerais savoir uh, ce qui s'est passé cette nuit-là. Je voudrais savoir uh, si ce qui s'est passé choice, était volontaire ou pas. Je voudrais savoir s'ils si ont agi de leur plein gré ou s'ils ont été contraints d'agir. Le Président. You are asked to repeat your question from the interpretation in Khmer. I could see that this is a hypothetical question. You please, re please repeat your question if I find that this is not a hypothetical question for witness to make any assumption, I would allow you to put that question. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, my question is, um, on the night when you were asked to live with your husband, did you feel you had a choice on whether or not to consummate your marriage? De to have sexual relations with him, or did you fear non, there would be consequences if you did not do that? Y avait des conséquences si vous ne le faisiez pas? Redoutiez-vous les conséquences? Answer, Mr. President. At first, uh, I had no choice, frankly. Au début, it was a really choix. difficult decision for me. Pour moi, vraiment une très If difficile. I did not submit effet, myself si to that situation, ne me pliais pas à la situation si je pas, I could not live uh, peacefully. It was a difficult this decision for me. I had to take in that situation. I could find nowhere to escape. Il avait pas issue. Je ne pas It was difficult for me to make such a decision. Cette décision a été uh, thank you for clarifying that, Madam Witness. I'm Je sorry to have to ask Madame you about such difficult things. De, de um, vous poser one more question before I move on to uh, another subject. You've indicated that you and your husband had three children together. Uh, were any of them born during the Khmer Rouge regime? Answer, Mr. My first child, my first daughter, was born in 1979. She was born in early 1979. I had a daughter in, in early 1979. Let me move uh, to another subject, which is um, the treatment of Buddhists in Il s'agit du traitement Trang accordé aux Buddhistes uh, dans le de Tramcock. Dans votre interview, réponse numéro uh, 10, you described par le attending what you called a big meeting at the district level, grande réunion organisée à l'échelle du district. At which the Tramcock district leaders made speeches. À de and cette one réunion, of the things you testified the district leaders said at this meeting was, and I quote, et Religion à cette occasion, and il a été dit que no la religion et les monastères n'existeraient plus. Savez-vous 
En quelle année cette réunion a eu lieu Answer. Réponse. I did not recall the content of uh, the meeting. However, Je ne me souviens plus très bien de, I de cette réunion. That uh, there revanche, was a meeting and as for date, exact date of the meeting, I did not remember. Je ne me souviens pas non plus de la date précise à laquelle elle a été organisée. And in discussing this uh, meeting, uh, you referred to two uh, locations. Réunion, One was the Anroka Pagoda, vous avez parlé de la Pagoda, and the Anroka. other was a place in Kus commune called Ang Rolle Village. Uh, do you remember de du de where it was that the meeting was held, where the district leaders announced lieu? that religion and pagodas would no longer Réunion exist. Au cours de laquelle les dirigeants ont indiqué que la religion et les monastères n'existeraient plus. Answer. Réponse. In small meetings and big meetings at Ang Roka and Angroli Pagodas, there was something said in those meetings. It was said that uh, religions and pagoda would no longer exist. Indeed, uh, in small and big meetings in a village, villages and communes, there was something said about uh, this point. C'est bien ce qui a été dit. And were the pagodas closed and people Question. prohibited from practicing religion after fermés? these meetings? Les croyants ont-ils eu le droit de continuer à prier après cela ou pas? Answer. It Réponse. was said that there would no be uh, religions on nous a dit qu'il n'y aurait plus de religion and uh, they said that uh, we worship uh, the buddha the concrete only concrete buddha on nous a dit que lorsque l'on so, uh, the buddha, regime did not believe in the buddhism we are instructed not to believe in such uh, buddhism de because it is uh, It was superstition. Parce que le bouddhisme, c'était de la superstition. What happened to the monks in your commune Question. during the Khmer Rouge regime? Qu'est-il advenu des bonzes dans votre commune pendant le régime des Khmer Rouge? In, from 1970 onward, à partir de 1970, mais par la suite, nous avons vu des soldats transporter on leur a demandé d'apporter du ravitaillement sur on, les champs de bataille. Those monks had been disrobed and there was none Par la suite, les moines ont été défrottés. Il n'y avait plus de moines dans le temple. And after all of them had been disrobed, namely my younger brother-in-law, they were teased that they were being uh, tricked uh, by those uh, Buddhist uh, concrete stone. Ne voulait plus être piégé par ces Bouddha, ces Bouddhistes qui croyaient dans le ciment, dans la pierre. You mentioned earlier this morning that pierre. when you were told Question. by your unit chief that you were to be married, that you went to the pagoda to pray. 
vous êtes allé Can dans une pagode us whether pour pagodas y prier. Were still open Cette pagode était-elle encore ouverte à l'époque Et lorsque do vous êtes allé openly, prier, avez-vous pu le you? faire euh, aux yeux, aux vues et au sud de tout le monde At that time, in each uh, pagoda, there was no longer any mount, and they were all uh, disrobed. However, but there were still uh, some étant, Buddha statues, statues, Buddha. and there was one uh, big statue il y avait in uh, that statue pagoda. Dans la pagode and actually, en question. I secretly walked en cachette, uh, into that, uh, je me suis rendu at dans ce temple pendant la nuit, without anybody seeing it. Personne ne m'a vu. And I prayed uh, to the, uh, to the Buddha. Prié le Buddha. So let me say that I actually went there secretly je peux without donc letting anyone dire know about que it. Suis allé en Question. Let me turn to another subject now. J'aborderai um, à présent un autre thème. Can you tell us whether there were any Vietnamese or Khmer Krom people in your commune during Dans the Khmer Rouge period? Sous les Khmer Rouge, y avait-il des Vietnamiens ou des Khmer Krom Et si oui, que leur est-il arrivé Réponse. In the area where I was, Dans la région où je me trouvais, It was uh, likely that there were no Vietnamese people or because I didn't know Vietnamien. everyone. And in fact, the they search for uh, Vietnamese because they said that if uh, there were Vietnamese, they would be uh, sent uh, back to Vietnam. Trouvaient, ils les au Vietnam. And some people who were not actually Vietnamese, but because of the difficulty they faced, Mais they just said that I, uh, they were related to Vietnamese. So then their names were uh, recorded avoir des origines and that they would be sent uh, to uh, Vietnam on this day and that day, inscrire et but that was not true. Au they were sent tel tel jour, uh, instead uh, to the en mountain fait, and ont they été disappeared since. Et depuis lors, ils ont disparu. my knowledge, there was no real Vietnamese ma living il avait pas de vrai in uh, my area. Only those uh, who who wanted to go to Vietnam in the expectation that their life there Vietnamiens was uh, less difficult. Au Vietnam, and they were, in fact, uh, Cambodians. And so they were sent away, and ils they disappeared. Ont été and in my own unit, ailleurs, uh, ils ont their parents disparu left, de ma propre and they left behind uh, some des parents children. Sont partis en abandonnant derrière eux des enfants. Um, Madam Witness, you Question. just referred to this and in answer 14 of your OCIJ interview, dans le PV you stated as follows, quote, Voici ce que vous dites. in late 1976, fin 76, there was an announcement by the commune chief le chef de commune they would send a annoncé que les Vietnamiens seraient renvoyés dans leur pays. Uh, end of quote. Fin de citation. Uh, do you remember uh, where you heard this announcement Où by the commune chief? Où avez-vous entendu le chef de commune annoncer cela Est-ce que vous vous en souvenez Réponse. The announcement was made during cela a meeting. été annoncé au cours d'une réunion. Although it was not actually a announcement, but uh, unit chiefs would pas vraiment uh, go uh, from house to house Les to uh, take down the biographies of the people, maison pour la biographie des habitants. and they uh, said that for those who were uh, connected Ils with their Vietnamese relatives or her, who were related uh, through uh, Vietnamese uh, would be uh, returned to Vietnam. Au Vietnam. Through my knowledge, uh, most people were uh, 17 sache, April people, but then they just said avril, that they were Vietnamese, then they were put into uh, 
Uh, track loads, Après quoi, on les a fait monter dans des camions away, et ils ont Vietnam, été emmenés the, the non pas au Vietnam, area, mais bien vers une région montagneuse. That, Après quoi, uh, it, it plus tard, nous avons appris que ce n'était pas vrai et qu'en réalité, ce n'était pas des Vietnamiens et qu'ils n'avaient pas été envoyés au Vietnam. To, uh, question. question. J'ai à présent about, quelques questions au um, sujet de la période postérieure à votre mariage. Après que vous avez cessé d'enseigner dans le PV d'audition, vous dites avoir vécu et travaillé dans une coopérative, vous dites que vous transportiez de la terre, que vous ramassiez des excréments de vaches et creusiez des canaux, vous dites que les conditions étaient pénibles. Et vous dites aussi ce qui suit. Je cite, « Quand j'étais enceinte, c'était très difficile de porter des coups. J'ai été critiqué aux sessions, mais je devais travailler dur. J'ai eu des nausées. À quel moment êtes-vous tombé enceinte et après combien de mois de grossesse, pendant combien de mois de grossesse, deviez-vous encore transporter de la terre Réponse. I became pregnant in 1979. Je suis tombé enceinte en 1979. Je suis tombé enceinte en 1979. Je suis tombé enceinte en The cow dung that I collected, and if Ces excréments was not étaient enough, pesés, s'il n'y en avait pas assez, je me faisais and critiquer. Concernant les uh, nausées well. matinales, elles faisaient que je ne pouvais pas bien manger, j'ai perdu du poids, uh, et j'ai été very often critiqué the fréquemment pour des réunions. Was, uh, On m'accusait de simuler. J'étais contrainte uh, à transporter à nouveau de la terre. And I couldn't eat soup. I only je ne pouvais ate pas manger de soupe, with, uh, je ne mangeais que du riz of salt. avec euh, quelques of that grains de sel. Sickness, à cause de well. ces nausées matinales, je ne pouvais guère manger. That I Le was, chef uh, du sick. Me and every chapitrait 10, en disant que j'avais une maladie psychologique. Month, Tous les 10, 20 et 30 du held, mois, il y avait une réunion de critiques et tout le monde m'accusait de simuler la maladie et m'accusait aussi d'être paresseuse. J'étais donc sous pression. D'une part, je ne parvenais pas à travailler. D'autre part, il n'y avait pas assez à manger. Le travail commençait à 4 heures du matin. And then we rested at 11 or 12 Ensuite, nous at noon, nous reposions and we vers 11 h et nous reprenions le travail à 13 h Nous then we started again jusqu'à 17 h et ensuite à 18 h ça recommençait. Le travail était très pénible. And I try my best, but I je faisais de mon mieux, do it well. mais je ne parvenais and pas à bien I travailler. Was then, uh, criticized. Et à cause de cela, on m'a critiqué. Then, I heard that uh, a croissant, j'ai entendu which was one dire of the, uh, tree, fruit tree, and I was told that the fruit tree, the fruit tree was poisonous, and then I ate it. Avait des fruits But qui étaient I toxiques. did not get a poisoned. Moi, j'ai mangé and un de ces fruits, mais je n'ai pas été empoisonné. My husband was not with me. He was Mon mari n'était pas avec moi. Il était à la commune de Lepo, tandis que moi, j'étais dans cette réunion. Nous nous rencontrions seulement tous les dix jours. jours. J'avais les, les pieds enflés. Et malgré tout, je devais travailler. Et ils répétaient hard que je ne travaillais if pas assez dur. Ils disaient que si je travaillais mieux, mes pieds ne seraient pas aussi enflés. Okay. Thank you very much. Um,
question. J'aimerais obtenir une précision quant aux dates. Je ne sais pas si c'est un problème de traduction. Vous avez dit avoir eu votre premier enfant début 1979. Est-ce exact Est-ce que votre premier enfant est né début 79 Réponse. My first child was born Mon premier enfant in early est né 1979. début 1979. Uh, Question. Pendant une partie de l'année 1978, si j'ai bien compris, vous étiez donc enceinte Réponse. Uh, yes. I became oui, pregnant je suis tombé uh, in enceinte cette année-là. J'ai accouché en 79. Mon enfant n'avait que 18 jours quand j'ai dû prendre la fuite. Let me turn to, uh, Question. One more um, Je passe à autre chose. In answer 12 of your à la réponse OCIJ 12 de votre PV d'audition, uh, vous parlez d'une soirée uh, en 1978 around et vous dites qu'à ce moment-là, vous avez vu une dizaine de personnes qui étaient ligotées et qui étaient emmenées. Et voici ensuite ce que Quote, vous affirmez. Je vais citer of the arrested people la plupart des gens arrêtés étaient des policiers des soldats et des enseignants sous le régime précédent, ainsi que des étudiants. Quand vous dites cela, est-ce que vous parlez des dix personnes que vous avez vues ce soir-là Ou bien, est-ce qu'il s'agit d'une affirmation plus générale concernant les arrestations qui ont eu lieu sous les Khmer Rouges Réponse. Quand j'ai vu ces gens ligotés, c'était vers 18 heures. Ma maison était près de la route principale. J'ai entendu I, du bruit. À la lumière de la lune, j'ai vu que ces gens étaient escortés le long de la route. Cela m'a choqué. And people who saw it also were shocked, but they, they are not Les autres gens out qui ont assisté à ce spectacle aussi ont été choqués, mais ils n'ont pas and osé sortir de on, chez eux pour regarder. I learned that Plus tard, those people j'ai appris uh, were asked what qu'on avait did they demandé à ces gens ce qu'ils faisaient sous le régime précédent. And because they they hoped that uh, if they were involved in their previous uh, regime's employment or work, ces gens that they would be uh, sent to work again. So they said that they were le travail qu'ils faisaient sous le régime précédent. C'est pour ça qu'ils ont dit être des enseignants, des étudiants et autres. Certains ont dit qu'ils avaient été des policiers de haut rang. Mais en réalité, And by the end, they were rounded up. Based on the names uh, they have uh, from the collection of uh, biographies. Sur la base so des de noms établis uh, dans le cadre des biographies, and, uh, walked them in, uh, line. un messager ensuite uh, ordonnait à ces gens de marcher en file indienne. If, uh, même chose pour les gens du peuple de base. S'ils avaient des membres de leur famille regime, qui avaient occupé des fonctions élevées sous le régime précédent, ces gens se faisaient arrêter well. et tuer They également. À, à l'époque, If they dig out the, on the disait 
que si they on voulait extirper une well. plante, il fallait aussi extirper ses racines. C'était une expression de uh, l'époque. Like question. Pour conclure, je prierai le témoin d'examiner deux documents avec votre autorisation. Premièrement, E3-2450-24-6-0. Les ERN sont les suivants au Khmer 00 27 0746 en anglais 00 322 161 et en français 00623 747 Il s'agit d'une lettre from Nang Nang provenant de la commune de Nyangyang et portant sur l'arrestation d'anciens fonctionnaires du régime de l'ONOL. Deuxième document, E3-2432, c'est une liste de 11 anciens officiers du régime de l'ONOL, liste venant de la commune du témoin et datée du 18 avril 1977. Si vous m'y autorisez, j'aimerais présenter ces documents aux témoins pour voir si elle reconnaît des gens dont le nom figure dans les yes, documents. So. Réponse. Allez-y. Le président, monsieur d'audience, veuillez aller chercher le document et le remettre au témoin. L'accusation. Deux documents vous ont été remis. Le premier, E3, Bar 2450 contient le nom de trois anciens officiers du régime de l'OMNOL arrêtés dans votre commune. Deux lieutenants et un sous-lieutenant. Concernant leur faute, il n'y a rien de grave à signaler. Ils ont été arrêtés parce qu'ils étaient des gens de haut rang. Fin de citation. Deuxième document, on y trouve une liste de 11 anciens officiers du régime de l'OMNOL venant de votre commune, deux majors, cinq premiers lieutenants et quatre seconds lieutenants. Voici ma question. Veuillez examiner les noms qui figurent sur ce document. Il s'agit de gens de la commune de Nyang Nyang et veuillez nous dire si vous avez connu certaines de ces personnes. These names of Réponse. people with a ranking in Nyanyang Commune. I heard of some names, but I seem not to recognize any of these names. de Nyanyang, de Nyan Nyan, mais je ne reconnais personne. And my final question. question. Um, Dernière question, vous avez dit que des efforts ont été entrepris pour établir la biographie des habitants de votre commune. Savez-vous ce qu'ont fait les Khmer Rouges, le cas échéant, pour identifier dans votre commune les anciens soldats ou officiers du régime de l'ONOL Yeah. 
former lunar soldiers who were killed by the Khmer Rouge. Uh, uh, is that exécuté what you mean? Par les Khmer Rouge. Bien cela. My Vous question parlez. is, uh, were you aware of what the Khmer Rouge did in your commune to try to identify which people were former soldiers or officers in the Lon Nol regime? <coughs> President, uh, witness, uh, please hold on, and Councilor Coupe, you Madame have the floor. Uh, thank you, President. Um, I have Maître objected Coupe. earlier uh, with another witness. J'ai soulevé une objection un peu plus tôt avec un autre témoin qui était face à la Chambre. Je me remets ici à la Chambre. Je vais raising uh, and make the objection or uh, once I have made the objection, it is clear that I uh, object to this. Uh, the use of that phrase. Il Same sera goes, manifeste que cela uh, veut dire que je, je m'oppose à l'utilisation de cette phrase-là. Il en va de même pour uh, les documents. No documents do in fact know these are in fact on ne sait pas à nouveau s'il s'agissait des documents de Krang Tachan dont on n'était pas certain qu'il s'agisse de documents originaux de Krang Tachan. Ma question à votre endroit est donc Peut-on considérer que je soulève cette objection à chaque fois que le coprocureur formule ou emploie ces termes Les Khmer Rouges.
President, we now reach the time le for this morning's adjournment. And in fact, there are 15 minutes remaining for the uh, combined time for the prosecution and the lead co-lawyers for civil parties to question this uh, uh, witness and the issue of a copy of a document is a, a contentious issue. And in fact, we have ruled on this issue previously. And in order to make the ruling consistent, the chamber uh, will decide to adjourn now and uh, resume at 1.30 this afternoon. I notice the international co-lawyer for civil parties on her feet. Je vois que la co-avocate principale pour les parties civiles demande la parole. Vous avez la parole. Monsieur le Président, you, Mr. une Mr. requête rapide à la Chambre. Vous avez évoqué le temps de 15 minutes. Or, nous souhaiterions disposer de 30 minutes dans la mesure où nous avons euh, euh, pris un bon quart d'heure ce matin pour discuter la question de la session fermée pour ce témoin et que nous avons perdu une demi-heure de manière générale par le, le biais du nouveau calendrier d'audience pour la session du matin. Donc nous souhaiterions disposer de 30 minutes, peut-être un petit peu moins, mais à tout le moins 20-25 minutes euh, en début d'après-midi. Je vous remercie de donner une suite favorable à cette requête. This afternoon, and I would be most grateful for a favorable response to this request. President, yes, uh, what you stated is correct, but the chamber also has to weigh whether this witness shall be returned on uh, Monday next week. It would be pointless for her to return on Monday for only 15 or 20 minutes uh, testimony. And I think the uh, minor uh, differences of the time allocation is not uh, that much. Based on the experience we have uh, done so far, of course, the time cannot be set as punctual as during a, a, a boxing match or a, a, a soccer game, for example, a 90 minute duration set or for a, a marathon running or things like that. The time is rather flexible here based on the actual practicality and the issues before us. And for that reason, we always urge the parties to carefully draft their questions so that we can be more effective in our time arrangement. And the prosecution this morning has taken quite a considerable amount of time in their questions. Court officer, could you assist this witness during the lunch break and have her return to the main courtroom before 1.30 this afternoon and security personnel? You and Sati to take the two accused to the uh, waiting uh, room uh, downstairs and have uh, them return to the main courtroom this afternoon before 1.30 p.m. The court is now in uh, recess.